Okay, in the previous video, we saw how two cards that were identical, had identical inertias, identical masses, how they interacted, and we saw that the change in velocity of, of the one cart had the same magnitude as the change in the velocity of the other cart. The only thing was that the one would go negative, or not, not negative velocity, but its change would be negative. It would go from a higher velocity to a lower velocity, and the other one would go... That's not right. The other one... Oh dear, sorry guys. Let's try that again. We saw that their velocities would interchange. If this is cart 1 and this is cart 2, cart 2 was going at a, a stationary, cart 1 was going at a certain velocity. If they were identical, then their velocities would interchange. And cart 2 would end up with the same velocity as cart 1. Cart 1 would uh, have zero velocity. But the point was that their delta v's, cart 2's increase, was equal to the magnitude of cart 1's of cart 2's increase was the same as the magnitude of cart 2's decrease. Now, what happens if we've got different masses colliding with each other? So let's consider a standard cart and then another cart with, that has double the inertia, double the inertia. So you've got cart a standard cart there and you've got a double cart there, double the inertia, it's going to, it collides with this cart, and then what you notice is that the standard cart starts moving to the left now, and the, and the double cart starts moving to the right. Now let's look at their changes in velocity. The standard cart goes from roughly 0.6 here down to minus 0.2, right? So what is that? 0.6 to minus 0.2 is a change of 0.8, although it's negative, right? From 0.6 to minus 0.2, a change of 0.8. Now, what do you notice about the double cart? And why is it negative? Well, it was going in the positive direction, so it had a positive velocity of 0.6. It collided with the double cart and started moving to the left, which means it has a negative a velocity of minus 0.2 but its total change the delta V standard was minus 0.8 changes from there to there now what about the double cart the one with double the inertia it moved from it the, its velocity changed from 0 to 0.4 so delta V of the double cart was 0.4 meters per second so what do you notice about these two this magnitude is half of that magnitude, or this, magnitude, this change in velocity, the magnitude, is double that one. So can you see that the double cart had a, the double cart had a change in velocity half the standard cart? So the standard cart had a change in velocity double that the double cart. No matter how the carts move, the magnitude of the velocity change, the velocity change of the double cart, is always half that of the standard cart. So guys, are you starting to pick up what's going on here? Before, before we looked at the delta V of two identical carts, and we saw that their change in velocity was the same meaning their inertias are the same, meaning their resistance to change is the same. Whereas now, if we look at two carts, where one is the double of that one, we can see that this double cart's resistance to change is less than that one. And because it's double the cart, it's twice the mass, so to speak, its resistance to ch its change in velocity is half of the standard cart. Okay, now let's look. Here's a standard cart and here's a half cart. Before we had a standard and a double cart, now we have a standard cart and a half cart. So using the same idea, after collision, the half cart, the one that has less inertia, should have a larger change in velocity. 
So if you look at the standard cart, there's its change in velocity, right? That's its change in delta V. And if you look at the half cart, there's its change in velocity, which should be double the change in velocity of the standard cart. Okay, I hope this is getting clear. So the motion of larger objects is harder to change than the motion of smaller objects. Again, we can look at this definition. Inertia is a measure of an object's tendency to resist any change in its velocity. Okay, I'm going to end here and I'll do a checkpoint in the next video.